Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today I'm super excited because we're going to be checking out Rogue Legacy 2. Now, this is the sequel, obviously, to Rogue Legacy. A huge fan of that game when it came out quite a few years ago now, and the developers actually reached out and sponsored this first episode, so I do want to thank them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be checking it out today and seeing what it's all about. Now, I've put about two hours into the game, and if you don't know how Rogue Legacy works, it's a rogue light. That is, when you die, you gain some benefits for your next character, or your hair in this game, because we are a family tree. As you can see, these are all my deaths of great, wonderful warriors that didn't get very far at all because I'm absolutely awful. But yes, the great thing about this game is as you go about it, you get stronger and stronger, regardless of how good you are in a game like this. And uh, yeah you just get more powerful so you can get further into the game now right now i'm really excited for this i just played the cook for the first time and it went really really well so i have this one with a unique trait i should also mention that certain characters have unique traits they're all different types of humans some have ibs even uh, irritable bowel syndrome there's a lot of weird ones out there this one is a pacifist which is why we're holding a peace sign instead of a frying pan and yeah each character does have unique uh spells and attacks as well depending on which class you're using but yeah i was really impressed with the cook so we're gonna start off with this character and yeah go out there and see how we can do all right so here is our kingdom this is essentially our upgrading tech tree after every run you use the money to upgrade yourself uh you start off with nothing and this is kind of where i am right now as i said i put about two hours into the game so not too much but enough to hopefully stand a chance and maybe at least see a boss in this episode i did defeat the first boss but i haven't got glimpse of the second boss yet all right so before we do that though i want to see if we have any new upgrades so uh this is our town basically i unlock these things as i go about the game it's pretty barren right now because i'm still at the start of the game uh but yeah there should be some things i think i didn't buy yeah i didn't buy the scholar weapon that's gonna give us a little more strength unfortunately i believe that's metal that i need it's not just money for this guy so i can't buy that right now because i don't have enough metal we'll have to buy that soon i did get the scholar cape uh, that just does magic damage. I'm not much of a magic player, so I think I'm going to save my money and actually go back. Actually, let me just check this other shop real quick. So yeah, this is the en Enchantress. This might make more sense. Increases your weapon crit damage. Yeah, I think we'll buy that. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough rune weight available, so there is armor weight and rune weight. I believe there was something in my tech tree, though, that I can do to get that. This is it right here. All right, so we'll buy that. There we go. We dug in the ground a little bit, and let's go attach that rune before I forget. All right, so now we get more weapon crit. Is there anything else? Amplification rune increases duration of status effects uh you know what i will buy that as well runes seem to be some of the best things you can get at least for the start of this game i should, probably should have checked more runes that i have gain more gold i don't have enough red aether so i can't buy that so we'll just get the rune storage for this and then spend the rest on some more upgrades here all right so i didn't realize i spent all my money i actually still don't have enough space for that other rune so we're gonna have to go out and just accept I, at least we unlocked it but i can't uh, put it in my slot yet because it's too heavy. I think I need, yeah, I'm gonna need 90 weight. I currently have 82 weight. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about that anyways. Let's just get out there and get right into what makes this game so interesting. Now, this will store 10% of the gold I haven't spent. I actually spent all my gold. The 64 gold that I had extra was the stuff in the storage right now, so I won't be storing any gold for this first run. But yeah, let's get out there and start earning some more money so we can get more powerful. Hopefully, this first run uh, is a lucky one because luck does play a big role in this game now i'm seeing that my b ability is locked is that because of my pacifist trait i've never had that before i'm assuming that is it all right so yeah this, this is the boss chamber as you can see i defeated the first boss here we have it looks like five more bosses to go find uh they get really hard though i don't expect to be able to defeat a boss today but we're gonna try our best and see how we can do Ooh, i'm doing way less damage than my last cook oh great avoidance oh what is going on i can't even kill it what? What is this trait? See, this is the thing with this game. If you don't know what a trait is, it could totally screw you up as well. Uh, it's usually not this hard. You know what? I just, I just had to get out of this room. I just had to get out of this room. I, I need to figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, I can't kill things. Why are you doing this to me? Oh my God. I am going to die before I kill anything. This is my worst run. Great way to introduce this game. All right, let's just see if we can get somewhere and try and kill something else. I don't know why there's so many eyeballs right now. Usually there isn't. Can I kill anything? I can't kill them. Usually it's about two hits. I just jumped into a bone. I am great. What the hell is this? Uh, all right, hold on. Never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my God. 
Well, it's literally only up from here. I've never had a run where I haven't killed one enemy. I was so excited for that character too. So pacifist, I got to assume that was it. Absolutely sucks. All right. Well, uh, that was a bad introduction into the game. I'm sorry, but that's what's so great about a rogue light. It depends on the character. Sometimes you're going to do very well. Sometimes you're not. Rink, we have another cook here. So let's try it again just to kind of show you the differences depending on what traits you get. All right. Please let me do some damage to this guy. There we go. That's what I expected. <laughs> I swear. I mean, I'm, I'm not great at this game, but I'm definitely not that bad to the point where I can't kill one character. All right. So what else do we got here? I think this is, yeah, this is uh, my magic ability. Pretty good. Uh, I don't actually have too much mana. Now, the cool thing about the cook is he can heal himself or she. And I'm going to have to do that because I'm great. What is going on with me today? Okay. Well... At least I have a bunch of food right now. So yes, I can heal myself as I go. I got stuck in the wall there. So yes, as I find food, I can cook it. I just used all the food I found and I'm not full health again. Great start. Great start. I'm doing fantastic. Ooh, I think this goes into a very scary area. So let's get some upgrades first, maybe, before we try and get down there. There we go. That's This is why I love the cook, though. You can smack them and then the heat of the frying pan destroys them over time. So you can kind of just hide especially with rooms like this when there's a lot of projectiles going on. Makes life way easier. And go up here. Goodbye, sir. I'm leaving now. Thank you. All right, so I'm seeing there's a chest up here. Now, I can only hit these things once to get up there. Actually, I think I can climb them. Yeah, never mind. So we'll grab that. There's some money for upgrades. But yeah, you can also smack these things and bounce upwards if you, if you want to do it the challenging way. All right, there we go. So I found some food. So I should be able to, yes, cook some food now. It also obviously heals me because it's food as well. This is why the cook's so great. If, if you're a bad player like myself, uh, getting some extra health is obviously very, very important. All right, there we go. There we go. And jump that. I hate the eyeballs. Uh, I can probably hit this from here and go down there. So, yeah, you have to hit these vines or you, they will damage you. I don't know if I'm going to fit in here. Oh, my God. I turn around and I get damage myself. <laughs> Wait, did this spear maiden just damage itself? <laughs> Do it again, spear maiden. Yes. Work smarter, not harder, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Now I got to go over here and destroy this before he destroys me. Perfect. Oh, oh, what are those? I've never seen those before. Oh my God, I'm leaving. I, tr I, tr I tried to jump down. Oh my Jesus. Why? Why? I'm down. I can't move. Oh God. Okay. Uh, wow. That's how things go badly really quickly. I could not get away from the attacks. Oh God, what do I do? I'm going to have to go back to that room, assuming I don't die right away. This is probably the end of this run. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, no, I thought I had room. All right, but there go there goes my second one. Lady Susie, the second. Did not last too long. Definitely better than the first run, though. I actually killed more than I thought. Not bad. So, yeah, that, that pacifist, you have 60% less health and you can't deal damage. What a way to start this. Oh, uh, so yeah, you don't know what a trait is until you use it once, which I kind of love about this game because it makes situations like that. You know what? I'm still going to use it because 150% gold is fantastic and I should be able to loot a bunch of crates before I die. Oh my God. The first thing I get is a big gold stack. This is why sometimes even stupid runs make sense because the more gold we get, the better. For the record, we used to get 10 for those. Now we're getting 25 per. So we just got to run through, hit everything we can, and try not to die. This is such a weird run. I love it, actually. Oh, chest. 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 I can get it. I can get it. Give me the chest. Screw off. I'm out. 500 gold already. <laughs> oh, there's a chest over there. How do I get over there? All right, so we can look around. So yeah, I got to get up and all the way over. I think I should be able to do that. We just got to go. Just got to be patient. Ah! Ah, that hurt. That hurt. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Go. 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 Yes! <laughs> this is the weirdest run I've ever had. All right, let's cook some stew. And I'm out. I'm already over my, my best run on this recording, though, in terms of gold. Defeat all enemies. Oh, that's a room I can't do because I can't do any damage. That sucks. I was hoping it would be an avoidance one. <gasps> no, uh, uh, give me it before I die. Thank you. And I'm dead. <laughs> so killing nobody, I still got... How much gold did I get at the end there? 1425. 
Oh, that was fantastic. All right, I wanted to try more characters, but when you give me plus 75% gold, that's obviously pretty good. He's got vertigo though, which is giving me the gold, but he's got vertigo. I don't know what that's going to do to me. Histronic? What, what is that? There's so many new traits that I've never seen. Oh, <laughs> I, I see what vertigo does now. Oh no. Oh, I can't even play ordinary. Australian mode? Yeah, screw this. Oh my God, I'm so much, I'm so confused already. I am so unbelievable. I don't, wow, this has royally screwed me up. All right, well, this is essentially a gold run. Thankfully I have gold gain, so it's better than nothing. Dude, I don't even know which way. How do I, how do I go down? I hit up to go down? Oh, this is, wait, no, I, I did hit down. My brain just can't do this. It just can't. Eat fireballs, you little jerks, because I'm not going over there. Screw that. That is a lot of enemies. Oh, great. I just found the hardest biome. I'm going to call it a biome. The risk level is max here. You know what? I'm actually getting a headache from this, so I just kind of want to end this. Maybe I can get some gold here or something. At least we saw something a little bit further down. Oh, my God. Is this going to damage me? What is going on? I've actually never been here, so... Oh, it's dark. That's evil. Hello? Is there anybody here? Oh, is that a donut? Shield block. All right, the night usually starts with that, I believe. I mean, a block is good. Don't think it's going to help me too much with freaking 50 health, though. Ah, what the? What is that? Oh, God. Okay, well, 12 health left. What is that, a fish? Why is there a fish down here? Thank God. I am actually happy that it's over. Ah, uh, yes, a chef that farts. This is my style. There we go. Please just don't be upside down. That's all I ask. Okay, let's see if we can actually get somewhere this time. My God, there's been some rough runs in this run, but that's why I love this game so much. I mean, I don't take it too seriously. I just love the uh, humor in this game. I think I just realized something. Can I play baseball with this? Oh my God, I can. <laughs> oh, the cook just gets cooler and cooler. Can I hit this? Ah, oh, that just damaged me. Ooh, I've never seen that before. What is this? Charon Scythe. Uh, blessing of Strength. First strike skill crits high health enemies. Second strike skill crits low health enemies. I gotta assume Fabled is good. Screw it. I'm just gonna fully heal myself. I, 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 I need to try this. I've never seen it before. Oh, that's my first attack. <gasps> I'm so glad I got that. Oh, this might be what I needed now. I probably don't have my fire ability anymore, but I mean, I'd rather have this than a pot and pan. All right, please tell me this is the run where I can actually get somewhere. Dude, it's insane. It pushes me forward too. That might be a bad thing because I might run into things a lot, but that's okay. I think I'm ready for it. Oh my God. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, level two. All right. I think I'm ready for level two. Oh, you know what? I think this is where I needed the boots I was talking about at the start of this, because I've been here, and this should already be pretty much looted. I gotta use this. Get up there. I mean, there's some loot in here at least, but yeah, there's nothing in here because I've already looted it all. And I don't think I... Wait, I wonder if I can attack and get up there. No, because there's... I need something to get higher up here. I can't simply... Wait, I wonder... Oh... <gasps> I'm so dumb. I can use those to bounce up. Dude, that's actually really cool. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, the boots. I think those are the boots I need. All right, hold on. Let's go in here first. All right, so there was nothing of interest over there. I wonder, can I fall down? How do I get over there? Okay, so I saw that there was an opening down here. How the hell am I going to get up? I can't get up there. All right. I really don't want to risk this weapon. I'd be tempted to try and see if there's anything over here. There's, it doesn't look like there's anything. So I'm just going to have to go back down and figure it out later. All right. What's up here? This is another new zone, I think. Saigian study. Risk level four. Uh, I've been here before and I need Aether's wings, I believe. I might be able to get up here. Hold on. Let's see. Because I can go here. And then if I boost forward, jump. Oh, yeah. I, I don't need the wings, I don't think. I don't think this is a smart idea, though. You know, oh, my God. What the hell just hit me? Ah! Ah, it's a mimic. Oh, that's what hit me. What the... What? What killed me? Oh, I was slain by another mimic. Oh, my God. The fart on the death. That's just hilarious. Oh, I just want to see a boss. Okay, if you remember, this is where the shoes were. I actually wasn't talking because I've been dying so much. I'm trying to get a good run going, but uh, I figured out how to get to the top. There were some vines on the outside, and I climbed the outside wall up to the top. Now, if you remember, the shoes 
we're on this side down somewhere over here. So hopefully, assuming I don't screw this up. <gasps> yes! Oh, wow. That was actually hard. <laughs> I didn't think about climbing the vines on the side. But yes, there we go. Now we should be able to go into the world too. But to get heirlooms, I have to defeat very hard levels to unlock these things. So we're going to go in here. You know what? I want to show you guys something else as well. I really want to get this done. So you can actually turn on house rules. Now you can enable house rules and you will take less damage from enemies. Hell, you can even have flight mode enabled if you want. I don't think I'm going to need that on. But yeah, basically it makes the game a lot easier if you're not good at avoidance like myself. So your spin kicks have been upgraded into echo kicks. What the hell does that mean? Um, okay, well, we just got to figure out how to get to the end of this. Sometimes there's enemies, sometimes there's not. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, so that's what we saw on the outside and I needed this, the boots for. Looks like they just make me go essentially higher. Cool. And let's get up here. Perfect. This might be an easy level. I've had one where I died like four times on it, which is why I put the house rules on. I actually... I would really like to get these boots as quickly as possible. Ah! 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 Okay. Um... All right, so I can teleport through that thing if I get over there. So we're going to do that. Perfect. And oh, oh, okay. That's hard. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Echo kicks reset your dashes. Wait, what? Oh, this is taking damage now. Oh, God. Echo kicks reset your dashes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so we got to boost and boost and boost and boost and boost oh god dude that's so much to think about i don't like that i'm taking damage now i might actually die here oh god okay i have to go and boost and boost and oh, i'm gonna i'm not gonna be able to get the boots or i could just do that cool resonant enemies can only be hurt by echo kicks oh i've seen these guys before and i was wondering why i couldn't kill them so i have to echo kick Echo kick. So I've seen these before. Uh, I can turn them off if I can get near them. But yeah, if I do any sort of attack in the red zone, I get attacked really quickly. So I just got to get through this quickly. I just... Ah! Why wouldn't it let me hit it? It won't let me hit it! Oh my god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. RB. I was hitting the wrong button. My bad. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. Okay. I got it. This is ridiculous. Can we end this? Can I just get my boots? I'm falling for way too long. I right, this is this is too long. Ah! Ha ha! I did it, you jerk. Oh, so yeah, every one of these new relics, I believe they're called, um, basically makes the game a little more difficult. So now we have a kick boot that can kill enemies and do higher jumps. And I've lost all my health getting those boots, but hey, at least I got them now. So we should be able to finally do this part. This is what I was talking about. Look at. Look at me go! Yay! Oh, if I can get to the second boss, that would be great. I think I'm going to keep house rules on just because I want to try and get a little bit further. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. There, there we go. See? Skills, man. Total skills. Whoa. Didn't expect that. All right. So, this is all new to me. So, I'm probably going to die. But, hey, it'll be fun. What does this do? Oh, I thought it meant up. I thought it bounced. Oh, as I said, this is all new to me. This is evil. Oh, I feel like we're in boss territory. There's lots of dead things around. We made it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I, I'm not going to survive with... I have no mana and I have 61 health. Mind you, I did this whole run with 90 health, which feels pretty good. Let's just go for it and see what happens. It's probably not going to go well, but at least we got to a boss in this run. All right, so we got bouncy pads. Obviously, it's going to be a lot of bouncing around and avoidance. And a big old skeleton. All right. Oh, God. Okay. Bones. I'm just going to jump up here. Oh, okay. Actually, he's got less health than before. I got to remember I'm using... Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. With my, with my mana ability? With my mana ability? Can I just do this? Hold on. Oh, what the hell? Kill the void beast. Kill the void beast. Kill the void beast. Did I kill him? Okay, so, th so that was just the little guy. I don't think my shout works or I'd be trying that. Oh my God, that would have killed me. That would have freaking killed me. No, I was so close. <laughs> oh, even cheating. That was so hard. 
Oh, that was a really fun run, though. Having 90 health at the end was butt clenching throughout the whole thing of World 2. But I think that was my best run. It wasn't my best run for gold, that's for sure, because uh, I killed the first boss once, and that gave me a lot of gold. But let's just speed up. We defeated exactly 100 enemies. Oh, what a run, man. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to end off this first episode of Rogue Legacy 2. Let me know what you guys think of this. I just love that it's not too serious. It's a very challenging game, but even if you're a casual player like myself, you can drop the skill down, or you can just play a lot and get a lot of upgrades to make the game a little bit easier for yourself. Really fun to play. Definitely a great sequel to Rogue Legacy, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the chaos. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.